Hello everyone, myself Bharadwaj. In this video, I will discuss briefly about heart protocol. In industries, mostly we use heart based smart instruments. If you see here, this is one pressure transmitter and these two are flow transmitters FT. Whenever we are installing a new transmitter, then we have to do the configuration. Or whenever you are doing some troubleshooting work, at the time also you need one hot communicator for seeing the live values inside the transmitter. You can see the configured parameters, present measured parameters, or diagnostics also. For that purpose, we use heart communicator. Let's say this pressure transmitters designed or measure, measurable range is 0 to 50 bar pressure. But your process application uh, pressure is 0 to 10 bar range. Then you can configure this pressure transmitter as per your process requirement using hot communicator. See, this is what uh, this, this is one pressure transmitter PT, and this is the impulse line connected to a pipeline for measuring the pressure. And this is our hot communicator. Using hot communicator we can configure the transmitter parameters as per our uh, process requirement or as per the design basis. And this is the back side you can see the hot communicator is connected to the terminals. Mostly these are two wire instruments. Across the two wires you can connect the hot communicator or if you have the separate hot signal terminals are available you can connect there also fine and this is our one flow transmitter ft this hot communicator is connected to this flow transmitter and you can see the online parameters here on the display okay see this is our flow transmitter we can remove the back cover and we can connect the hot communicator and we can go online and we can see the configured parameters you can do the configurations you can set the required lrv urv lower range value upper range value you can do the simulation you can do the calibration okay you can check the diagnostics all these things you can do from this hot communicator in the field remember this hot communicator uses fsk frequency shift keying technology by using this fsk this hot communicator can establish communication between the field instrument and then we can configure the required parameters. We will use the same technology, okay, same protocol for communicating between the transmitter and the DCS system. Let's say I will take the same case again. This is our heart based flow transmitter. Right now the flow is 100 meter cube per hour. Previously, I shown you how to use 4 to 20 milliamp based signal for communicating or transcending this measured flow rate from the transmitter to the DCS system. Now, I will tell you another approach. We can use this hot signal. What is the hot signal? FSK, frequency shift keying. We can use this hot signal for sending this measured flow rate from the transmitter to the DCS system. The DCS receives this FSK signal 
and then converts the signal into equivalent measured flow rate and then the DCS updates this flow rate on the computer graphics. Remember, your hardware must support hard protocol. Your transmitter must support hot uh, signal transmission. At the same time, your DCS system hardware, for example, analog input module, analog output module, and respect to hardware must support hot protocol signal. At the same time, you must have a software license for using this hot signal configuration. Then only you can fetch this data using FSK signal. Remember that. So this is one uh, application. I will tell you another combination. Let's say I will take same example. Measured flow rate is 100 meter cube per hour. Let's say I can use 4 to 20 milliamp base signal for carrying this measured flow rate sig measured flow rate signal from the transmitter to the DCS system, right? Or I can use FSK signal for transmitting this measured flow rate from the transmitter to the DCS system. Or I can use both 4 to 20 milliamp signal and FSK signal simultaneously to send this measured flow rate from the transmitter to the DCS system. In some instruments, we have option. We can select uh, the required parameter. For example, this measured flow rate is one parameter. At the same time, you can select some other uh, parameters also for sending this uh, parameter using FSK signal from the instrument to the control system. Then the control system updates the value on the computer graphics. So we have uh, three cases here, three applications. The first one is only using 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Second one only using FSK signal. Third one, you can use both 4 to 20 milliamp signal and FSK signal simultaneously for transmitting the required parameters. In the next videos, I will show you how to do the configuration for the FSK signal, hot signal in the Yokogova Centum VP DCS system. Remember, your hardware must support hot protocol and your software must have the required license. Then only you can do this project. Okay. And also these signals, mostly FSK signals, we use for non-critical signals or in situations where we cannot use, it is not possible for us to use 4 to 20 milliamp based signals. Okay. Uh, and in the end, I will tell you some use cases also or applications where we use this FSK based signals for communicating the data into the DCS system. Uh, do like our videos, share our courses with your friends and social networks. Help us. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I will meet you in the next video.